morning. My name is Sarah Roberts, and I'm here at the Casa de la Esperanza. This is a center that is holding an opening celebration today. It was just opened, and it's a community project. The community here in Sasabe, Sonora, has come together along with volunteers from Salva Vision and uh, Samaritans, Tucson Samaritans, and they've created this center together for the community of migrants that passes through Sasabe heading north and the community of migrants who are being expelled or deported south. And people can come here, receive services such as food and clothing, so a daily hot meal, toothbrushes, hygiene items, first aid, and a sense of community. And so uh, we give thanks for this place and for the spirit and for the community, the spirit and strength of the community here in Sasave, Sonora. My name is Sergio Acosta. I'm the priest, and, my, and I have my minister here in, in Sasavi, Sonora. And I have, and I have working here in this community two years, and I'm glad. I'm glad to. <laughs> I'm glad to do it, and and I'm here to talk about about uh, migrants a little bit uh, because. Uh, they need our, our attention, especially, uh, because their, their situation is kind of hard and difficult, and they need to, to move from their own lands, own homelands, to uh, looking for a better opportunities to get a better life, a more more dignity life. Their in their countries they they have to face up a one or two two things to to preserve, to look for, to to fight trying to live with their own believings with their own uh, believings <laughs> creencias and or face up for obligations obligation to join up a, a gang those gangs and sometimes are not they don't want that but they are forced forced and that's because they in a, this desperate way they need to to live to live their own countries their own states and leave their families, leave their their houses, leave live away all they all the all they have a, they have a, a chief for their own hands, for their own jobs because there are not very much opportunities to have a better life. So I can find them here and they pass away here, not pass away. They come to this church and ask for the blessing of God. So sometimes I have the opportunity to listen their the situations on their homelands and and it's very struggle to to rise up their head rise, man, maintain their their head up because their dignity 
but the depression, the struggle, the intimidation is very strong, forcing us to join a gang. So they move away for looking for a better life, looking for something to restore their dignities and get something to send to their own to their own families. And this is very sad because I have to say, I have to, to say this, there are laws against the against the the men, the communities. They are, they are trying to put down put down the 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 work, the force, the mm, I'm missing the better words here, but break break the, they are trying to break them break them down, especially their souls. And this is why they have to move because they are inspired for, for the Holy Spirit to look for something to restore their life. And they are here, they are even in other borders trying to, to reach, to achieve the American dreams. <laughs> American dreams for some of them, but more than that, just keep away from those who stole, stole, want to stolen their life. And, and they come here and they pray to the Father and they want the blessing and they continue walking against the odds of uh, the, the weather, snakes, <laughs> and bad, 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 bad weather, weather, and and they are in the, in the, in the hands of God. By the church, the people, they receive them because they know, we know, they are fighting for, for something better, to, to, to have a better life. And, and that is not denied to all of us. It's not denied because this is the freedom who God gave us and it's a blessing for those who are tra who are trying to to get it even even if they are if they are going to give give their own life adios san juan adios rosalina adios mis amigos jesus y maria no los Solo les llamaron los de